Yo, what is up going everybody and welcome to our video of KCM, it's full of excitement and this is all about top 10 best, uh, what is that, oh, top 10 best games of 2016 and it is all about shooting games. Well, last time I mentioned that I will make a video with top 10, some kind of that, so this is the video which is about top 10, so let's get started but before starting I'm gonna say why I'm doing this, well, because I hate those kind of fucking arrow uh, role-playing games and other games, so that is why I'm starting a fast button shooter channel. Uh, well, my, in my channel, I always play fast button shooter games, so let's get started. Game number 10, Lowbreaker. Well, which contains a great graphics and amazing shares in this game. Well, this game is made by the Unreal Engine. Well, this is a real engine, and... But this game and this engine actually, the game engine is really a free engine but this game, I mean this engine doesn't support in all these kind of computers. And what about the developers? Well developers are Bosky Production and Nexen are the publisher. Well Nexen is the publisher and I know the Nexen is amazing. Well the low driver has really kind of features like you can have many kind of experience of future possible shooter experience well it is a really interesting and realistic game and i don't know why it's named lawbreaker well maybe in this game you can break laws but i don't know what it's called laws yeah actually i don't know well pre previously known under the code name blue streak yeah actually it named blue streak uh many months ago but actually now it just it just named i mean it just changed its name to lawbreaker and lawbreaker looks really great and low breaker name is better and cool yeah actually really cool and that's a real thing and that's why it is in number 10 game number 9 overwatch yeah actually it is overwatch made by blizzard entertainment yeah well i know why but blizzard entertainment is a great company well i just played many other other games like many other games like aliens or other kind of games made it by Blizzard Asian statements many years ago, but hey, how this game is and how it does features like well, it is in the feature art. Yeah, actually, it is feature art, and there's so many kind of robots in the game, so many maps like Hollywood, China, or some kind of that, and there's also many kind of things like samurai. Yeah, actually, I I just really fucking love some kind of samurai and. Well, the story of Overwatch is actually really great. Well, it has a little story mode in this game, and there's also many kind of, uh, many kind of heroes. Also, yeah, actually, there's heroes, and there's also many kind of characters. And my favorite car, I mean, my favorite characters is Tracer. Well, there's also Tracer, and my second one is Genji. Yeah, actually, there's a guy whose name Genji. Well, there's a really great map, and the map which I am. I'm really excited for is the Lee Ji Young Tower. Yeah, actually, it is called Lee Ji Young Tower, and that's why I just love this game. And so, and I'm just continuing to the next one. So, this is in number nine. Number eight, Battalion 1944. Well, it is almost like the Call of Duty 2 game, but actually, it isn't. Well, my favorite game, I mean, my favorite weapon in this game is the M1A1. Well, it is a submachine gun, but actually it is a, it is a asshole rifle, but it is, looks like a submachine gun. And there is also many kind of, uh, many kind of features in this game. Well, there's many kind of enemy interiority in this game, and, uh, the main thing, and the excitement, and exciting, most exciting thing in this game is your first person shooter experience. Well, it is, I think this is the most realistic game in 2016, and, and it is, it is actually in World War 2, actually it is from World War 2, I don't know is there any history or anything in this game of single player story mode, but, the thing which I'm gonna say, it is, it is made by the Unreal Engine 4. Yo, Unreal Engine is really going too much further to the world. And I think Unreal Engine the best engine almost. I mean, I think I think it is the best engine in the world. But I, uh, I think the Unreal Engine should be a little great. Well, I don't think I'm really, I'm really some kind of disappointed about this game. But maybe this game should be released quickly. Well. 
Steam says that it will release in winter 2017, but I think it will release really quickly just because many people have made it, many kind of trailers, and also released many kind of gameplay. And that's why maybe it should be in number 8, and that's why. Game number 7 Escape from the Tarkov. Yeah, yeah, sure. It is almost like the Escape from the Tarkov, but actually, it is. Escape from the Tarka. Well, it is a game of terrorists. Yeah, actually, there's so many terrorism in this game. But actually, it is also have some kind of US Army and many kind of features. Well, there is AK-47. Well, I love that kind of... I love that kind of weapons, like terrorists. Well, in this game, you can customize your weapons and it is a really great creative game. Yeah, actually, you can have many kind of creative options and it has really great options and features. Well, it is almost looks like the battlefield too much like you can add some kind of silencer and silencer, flashlights, night vision and other kind of uh, other kind of attachment. I mean attachment. Yeah, graceful. Attachment and well and its animation is really great and smooth and it is made with really great and high price or maybe kind of luxury CGI and and that's why its animation is really great. I don't know what kind of engine it is made of. Maybe maybe it is made of United Engine or maybe it is made of other engines, but maybe it looks like United Engine and that's why most of the people say it is made with United Engine. Well my favorite is United Engine but the Unreal Engine is very great, great, but I'm not talking about the engine, I'm talking about the game. And the game is real great and teach are really great. Well it's Map is really great and talking about map and multiplayer. Well, it's real multiplayer, real time multiplayer experience is really great. And you can have no ping lags and whatever you can say. This game is almost the best open world first version shooter game in 2016. And maybe, maybe some reason, and because of some reason, some reason it is in number 7 just because it is. Uh, it has made some people disappointed just because it's graphics. So, not that bad graphics, but it's almost looks like a uh, game of 2007. Uh, yeah. You know what? It doesn't matter how great graphics it is. It's about fun, and that's why it is in number 7. Number 6. Yeah, actually it is. Doom 4. I mean, Doom. A uh, fucking game of Doom. Whoa. Why is it called Doom just because there are so many Doom in this game yet? Actually it's called Doom 2016 or you can say Doom 4 you can say Doom Yeah actually it is most of the people say it is Doom but why it is called Doom? Well there's so many Dooms and what are the Dooms? Well the Dooms are the monsters in this game and the features are the in this game. Well there's so many points and other things I uh, well I just feel like the game and there's some kind of some kind of things that you can find in the map and those are kind of easter eggs and if you select those and find those and interact those you can be a uh, you can transform into a big monster like witch or kind of asshole monster uh, I, I mean just like that and and the reason why it is in number 6 is just because it is doom whoa okay i'm just saying it's like a doom and i think i'm just talking like a hitler well you know, in my secondary channel, a uh, guy say that I'm a Hitler, I'm the second Hitler, whatever, I'm not a Hitler. But, hey, this game, I think, if I was in this game, I would, I would, I would just fucking this game. Oh, whatever. Uh, let's talk about how this game is great, and how, uh, and just talk about its graphics. So, the graphics is really great, and made with the Unreal Engine. Well, you know what, Unreal Engine is made by everything, and I know, the Unreal Engine made, I mean, making every kind of games, so much news. I mean, so much new interesting games and really great features. And the ARK is also made by Unreal Engine. Oh, what the fuck? I was just talking about this engine. Well, let's talk about the game. Well, there's so many features and so many amazing features. And there's also many kind of characters. All characters are really great. And that's why it is in number seven. Oh, I just forgot. It is in number six. Number five. Rising Storm 2. Big now. Well, it is in the big now. Why it looks like the. It is almost really like the best company. Well, the best company too was really great game, and in this game, well, we can have many kind of features like Vietnam and many kind of things. Oh, what the fuck? I'm just talking about the. I was just talking about the best company, but it is all about the Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. Yeah, actually. Well, this game has so many features better than 
the or oh, whatever. I mean, well, I was I was almost stuck with the other games, but the Rise of Storm 2 beat now has so many amazing features like snipers and other shotguns. Well, it has the M416, I mean, M16, everyone, and also many kind of favorite weapons in in my dictionary. And oh, what about my dictionary? Oh, I have a I have a really great book where where I can, I mean, a diary, and in that diary, I just write so many kind of favorite things. Well, this game has so many great features, and Starfield is great. Well, it is made with the Unreal Engine, or maybe not, but actually, it is with like the Unreal Engine, and by closing my eyes and whatever, I can, I can just feel that this is made by the Unreal Engine. Well, the Clank Wall, also made by the by this game company, well, I just forgot the name of this uh, this game. Oh, I know, Ground Boost, yeah, Ground Boost. Well, you know what? This game has so many great, and I just really feel like I mean, really great gaming world, and yeah, actually, super graphics, and that's why. And it is really interesting game, and that's why it is in number five, and that's all I can say. Number four, Homefront, the revolution. Well, it is a revolutionary game. Well, why it is a revolutionary game? Well, there's, there's why. I mean, the reason why it is a revolution game just because there's so many teams and teamworks in this game. Well, in this game you can just fight like freedom fighters. Yeah, actually you can fight like freedom fighters against some kind of enemies. Well, I don't know what the enemies are. Maybe they're terrorists or whatever. Bosh! What about the game heroes and the game characters? Well, I can see uh, a belt guy in this game, but I don't know what is that guy. Maybe he is the main character, or maybe I don't know that asshole is looks like the main character. Well, there are so many features in this game, like so many weapons, and you can have bikes and vehicles in this game, and also have many kind of project house and RPG, some kind of RPG, 18 rockets, and also, some machine guns, SMGs, like assault rifles, heavy rifles, and yeah, sniper is special. Yeah, actually, everyone likes sniper, and that's why this game also have snipers. But in this trailer, uh, trailer didn't feature the the sniper, but actually, in the real time game, you can have the sniper also. Well, the story of the game is really interesting, and the story mode, yeah, let's talk, actually talk about the single player story mode. Well, it's also great. And it's amazing. It's really the nice meat. This game is amazing. That's why it is in number four. There we go. Number three, Shadow Warrior Two, a game of full fucking experience. And there is also full of monster and amazing zombies in this game. Well, you can have many kind of features like cars and all the samurai experience and also many kind of weapons in here. Well, the weapons are really featured and really, really actually it is a great game with great things and there's also great armor yeah actually the armor is really great well you can see that stupid guy with that fucking bullshit and the graphics are really great well I don't know what kind of engine is made of but the graphics is really really great and everyone is really excited for this game and that is why it is in number three but why don't you know the why the end the reasons yeah actually the reasons because it is in number three well the reason is this fucking game is really great and you can see the story mode of this game and the cinematic trailer well it feels like it's going to be a really great game when you're gonna have to buy it you'll see how great it is and well that's all I can say about this game so let's talk about the number two Number 2 The Titanfall 2 EA Sports presents This game is going to be amazing With a world of feature Creatively made of futuristic vehicles and futuristic robots There is a massive graphics experience in this game And you can feel the full of the power of a robot in this game And that is all about the Titanfall 2 and this is all about the number two, game number two, actually. Turn on pole two, we're waiting for it, yeah! Number one.
Barrel Field One. Yeah. Guys. Crossfire. World War One. Barrel Field One will come in 2016. Late period. That is with teacher. He's already already wrecked in amazing plane vehicle with his and so many amazing yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah, so it is I feel like it's going to get and he feels he feels hell dangerous and popularities this game is going to it is an amazing game. So that's why thanks for watching everybody and be sure to subscribe to my you subscribe to my unfuckable fucking channel and be sure to like my video and that's what I'm waiting for.